In tonight's Consumer Alert, some items that have always required hands-on shopping are shifting to the Internet from antiques to fresh produce. And perhaps most surprising, that includes mattresses. Reporter Jamie Yuckus has the story. When Kristen Hoy needed a new mattress, she didn't go to a bed store. She went online. I just hated the feeling of walking around and testing out all of these beds that were on the showroom floor. It just wasn't, it wasn't for me. She ordered her bed sight unseen from Casper, which sells high-end mattresses online. We only make one mattress that was designed to be universally perfect for everyone. And so we give you 100 nights to try it in your home, totally risk-free. When the team took their idea to investors, dozens said no, because a bed in a box seems so far-fetched. Not anymore. In 2015, Casper rang up $100 million in sales. This year, that number will more than double. The company has 200 employees worldwide, with Casper napping pods in the New York headquarters. A similar success story is here at Warby Parker. They transform the eyeglass industry by bringing it online. The streamlined sales and manufacturing keep the price under $100, so that customers often buy multiple pairs. Shoppers now buy million-dollar antiques online, and Amazon Fresh has expanded to more than a dozen major cities. Gambling that Americans will even buy fresh produce over the Internet. Is this how we're going to start buying everything now? We definitely think so. It's just such a, a better experience. Krim says Casper will continue to expand. The company has already added dog mattresses, and Kristen's cockapoo puppy, Sammy, is clearly one satisfied customer. With many retailers offering deals online, experts believe that because of the increase in online traffic, Black Friday could become the new Cyber Monday. It's amazing. Yes, it is. The Bison have a few reasons to fight for a win this weekend in South Dakota. Later in sports, how much does revenge play in this week's mindset? Up next, what's behind an increase in depression among teens and young adults?